Sacsayhuaman, meaning Royal Eagle, is a fortress temple complex which lies at the northern edge of the once great Incan capital of Peru, still known today as Cusco. Apparently constructed during the reign of Pacacuti between 1438 and 1471 AD, according to academia, its massive, well-built walls remain a testimony not only to Incan power, but also to their skills of architecture and their approach of blending their monumental structures harmoniously with the natural landscape. The Sacsayhuaman site was so well built in fact, it is still used today for reenactments of Inca-inspired ceremonies. With some of the biggest blocks to be found within ancient ruins anywhere on Earth, it's important to remember just how these ancient civilizations managed to move these stones, having never actually thought to record such techniques within engravings or writings of any kind, remains a mystery. Blocks many tons in weight placed together with such precision, no mortar was ever used, yet the site remains intact. Like a giant's dry stone wall, enormous random-shaped stones were apparently effortlessly stacked neatly together, or one on top of another, forming the amazing walls we see today. Who built Sacsayhuaman? Was it really the Incas? If so, how did they manage it? Like all other ancient sites upon Earth, archaeological finds are one of the main driving factors behind dating such relics. These investigations will often look for specific artifact types these objects, known to have places within studied history, are often used to establish a date given. This by no way means that the date is accurate, or indeed the artifacts from a far different type of culture, from a very different time in history, are not missed, or more often than not, ignored. The giant blocks interlocked and sloped to maximize their resistance to earthquake damage, a construction feature somehow understood over 500 years ago. Time has proved its efficiency. Earthquakes have done remarkably little damage to the structures in Peru over the years, many still in their apparently abandoned state, and the Sacsayhuaman is no exception. Did the Incas really build Sacsayhuaman, Machu Picchu, etc.? Or, like we have postulated regarding the Great Sphinx and the Giza Plateau, was the Incan Empire a mere re-inhabitation of an extraordinarily well-built ancient ruin? left by a far more advanced, yet far more ancient civilization. Perhaps one day, Peru will reveal its ancient secrets.